Jenny Sheer here, welcome, thank you for being here. Today I'm going to do something different, I'm going to use a very large canvas, it's a 90 centimetre by 65 centimetres, and I'm going to do, draw a figure on there and use a glue gun to go over the figure. And then inside the figure I'm going to do like a chaos style pour, uh, and I think I'm going to use glues, I want it to look like a, an ocean. Um, but inside a figure. And then on the outside, I'm going to use, just paint it like a pale color. And then on top of that, I'm going to use like parts of a stencil to just, and, and with some gel gloss medium to have some texture in the background and go over that with gold. So that's just the quick overview. I'll explain it further as we get into it. Um, if you're not very good at drawing, you can either have it print, have a, the shape printed on a large scale and use some uh, tracing paper to trace it on to the canvas. Um, I, what I did is I used the plastic of the canvas before I took the canvas out of the plastic, used a marker so that I could draw on the, the, the figure so that I knew exactly where I needed to put it and it's easy with a marker because you just rub it off easily um, if you go wrong and then I used baking paper as a tracing paper, traced the, the, the image took the plastic off and then transferred it onto the canvas so it was fairly easy but if you're not good at drawing you can print out an image on a large scale or on a small scale whatever your size that you're using and do it that way let's go make some art so this is my glue gun that i'm using and it's clear glue and i don't know if you can see the drawing from up there because it's quite a large canvas so i've had to put the camera up high but You'll see it as I go on over it with the glue gun. Um, so let's get started with this. I might do a little bit and then I'll speed, just speed it up because it's just a bit boring to watch. And once I've done my chaos style pour in the figure, I want to go on top of that with some epoxy resin so that it's nice and glossy and then this part is going to be textured. So with the glue gun I want to make sure there's a little bit of height so that the epoxy resin doesn't come out of the actual figure. So let me speed you up. Show you what I've done so far. So this is the, the glue gun um, part of it done. Um, I'm going to go over that with some gold paint, I think. Um, it looks quite good. It's not perfect, but I think it it doesn't matter. Once you put the gold paint on, it's all going to look really lovely. So now the next part is that I'm going to use some different blues pour it on chaos style and then use the hairdryer to blow it blow it around. Let me show you the colours I'm going to use inside the figure. So I'm starting off with a, quite a very dark blue, it's like a phthalo dark blue um, and that's going to start, I'm going to put a little bit of this all over, it's kind of like a base and then I'm going to go, there's, there's a lot of colours I'm going to use, phthalo turquoise by Dale Rowney. And then I have Blue Flash by Alvia. This is a custom dark blue mix, which is ultramarine blue and oxide black by Amsterdam. Greenish blue by Amsterdam. Iridescent blue green by PVR. Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. We have uh, Lagoon by TLP and Sapphire by TLP and towards the bottom here I'm going to have like a beachy look down at the bottom and um, so I'm going to have the little tiny bit of copper mostly gold 
silver and pearl white and then a tiny bit of uh, pearl, pearl banana yellow just at the bottom here so it's kind of shimmery beachy look so that's the idea let's see how it's going to work out I don't know if it's going to work out at all so I'm just going to sort of not try and put too much colour because it's got nowhere to go so I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and blow it out um, so that I don't end up with too much paint in, in the figure. Okay, all my paints are mixed with one part paint, one part Floetrol, one part PVA glue mix. The glue is 60% glue, 40% water and then extra water to consistency. Want to see a paint mixing video? Check out video 116 for perfect consistency. So I'm going to add some titanium white throughout the, the whole piece. So let's start at the bottom here, I think. And we'll go with some iridescent gold by PBO. And some silver. that part out first. Use the straw to put it up to the edge. To add some yellow I think that's that's good and so now I'm going to go with the lightest color now first of all I'm going to go with a little bit of this dark base all around and it doesn't matter if it goes over the glue gun areas because I'm going to paint those afterwards I'm going to start with the glacier blue down the bottom here Sea green. Some lagoon. It's quite shimmery, the lagoon. Iridescent blue green. as well. Yeah, let me blow this part out before I continue further up. off with a straw.
Okay, so I'm going to continue up with some phthalo turquoise. Blue, blue flash. Some um, sangria, oh, sorry, sapphire. in the darker colours up the top. The greenish blue. my straw. Just gone over a bit here. Okay, so Okay, I love that. So once this is dry, it's going to absorb into the canvas and you'll see all the other lines of the glue gum. Um, so you'll get the shape. Some of that out. I just 
mop it up because I think there was a little bit too much in the head part. It's fine, this is why we leave the outside last. And we can just go over it. Let me give you a close up. Um, this is going to take a few days to dry. Um, and then I'll um, come back and I might show you the resin part. Close up. And starting at the bottom, so to speak. Got some nice cells and lacing, lots of shimmer, and going up with all the different blues and greens. And once this is absorbed, you'll be able to see the line of the face and the hair. It's at the moment, it's covered but by paint. Gonna be good. Okay, I'll come back when it's dry. New plan. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next stage. This is not completely dry yet, but what I want to do is instead of painting the back, the outside, I'm going to pour on some neutral colours, some cream, white, and a little bit of grey, and then I'll just spread it out with my palette knife. And then when that's dry, I'm gonna use my relief outliner to make some sort of long stems. And then I'm going to use my matte gel with the palette knife to do some little buds, little flower type things, just to give the background a bit of interest because I think it's there's a little bit too much uh, negative space. So let me get started with applying the paint around the background. I've just got to be careful not to get it inside the figure. Um, And then I'll um, spread it around with my palette knife. So hopefully this is going to be enough. I'm just going to spread it out thinly. I might end up blowing some of it as well. Just blow the rest of it. It's really good. So I've gone in here a little bit, but I can just go over that when it's dry and just put some blue back in there. That was bound to happen. So I'm going to turn this around and do this edge. Check my sides. And then I'll come back when I'm going to resin the middle part. And we've done so far. The background is really nice. It's just soft and neutral. Has some cells and some effects. It's really nice and when this is all dry I'm going to come back and resin the figure and when that's cured I'm going to come back and do the 
design the petal designs with the long grasses. It's almost dry now, just a little bit around the edges. I'm going to use 24 karat gold by DecoArt, just straight out of the pot to go over the glue gun line areas. So just straight out of the pot, I'm just using my finger just to just very carefully go over the line, liney bits. And then I'm going to come back to resin the figure part of it. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back for the resin part. Okay, moving on to the next stage. This is all dry now. I've added a little bit of sparkle in some areas. I'm using my resin, it's craft resin, and I do equal amounts and stir it really well for five, five minutes. Um, always wear gloves and a respirator when using resin. So I have a calculator in my description, resin calculator, to see how much you need. Um, and this is 300 uh, mils. And it's fully mixed. I have a little bit of, of sparkle in there as well. So let's just roll it on. But the level of my canvas is level, used a, used a spirit level, and I'm going to try not to get it on the outside. This is mirror, mirror and glass chips. And this is just the um, large iridescent bitter. So when I've done this, when it's cured, I'm going to put a couple of layers of varnish on the negative space. And then I'm going to do the flowery types design on the outside. Just maybe just a couple. I think, think that's the idea. I might change my mind. just brings all the colours to life. It makes them look so much more vibrant. This is just the right amount, I think. Because it was a funny shape. I just did the, the longest and the widest part, and then just took a little bit off. Just a guesstimate of the amount to take off. So far, so good. And normally I'd be wearing a mask, but because I'm talking to you, I'm not. And I always mix this outside.
make sure you push up to the edge. to torch the air bubbles out now and just check all around the edges so be really careful to make sure you go right up to the edge. And then come, come back 10 minutes apart a couple of times just to check there's no more bubbles. The resin is cured and I varnished the background a couple of times just to seal it. And then you can see the, the resin part of it. It's just perfect. Um, I'll give you the full look at the end. So I'm going to move on to the next stage now, and that's the little bit of floral design on the background. It's really lovely. Moving on to the next stage, I'm using PBO Relief Outliner, and I'm just going to do some stems ready to do the flower buds. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do one coming over this side and then one over here and one over here. I think I'm going to do three. So starting off down here, I've, I've cut it a bit lower so that it's a bit wider, wider string. Perfect. So when these are dry and set, I'm going to come, come back in with my small palette knife. I'm going to use this, this size and the smaller one. And I'm going to just add, I've mixed in two thirds of gel gloss medium to one third of my iridescent gold by PBO. And I've got this nice kind of molding. Moving on to the next stage, I've got my gel and paint mix. It's nice and creamy and very, very shimmery. We're just gonna load my palette knife. This is the slightly larger palette knife, just on the back of it. And just lay it like this. Um, it's quite effective. And this is the one that I'm going to use just to show you what this one looks like and then I'm going to speed you up. It's very effective. So I'll speed you up and I'll just continue with all of these. That 
3D element and the gold is so shimmery. Really lovely. I'll um, show you the finished result. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you want to see another video like this, tap the screen on the left and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!